Ah, homework. The brainchild of some mysterious genius who probably had a personal vendetta against weekends. No one knows who started this academic torture, but it's like they whispered to each teacher. Hey, let's make sure these kids have zero social life. Homework is like a clingy friend who just won't let you catch a break. It's been evolving since the time of cavemen, probably when they had to carve math problems on stone tablets. Now, we're stuck with the digital version, but the struggle remains the same. Teachers, philosophers, and students must have held secret meetings to brainstorm how to make our lives more complicated. Oh, you thought you could Netflix and chill? Here's a surprise essay. And don't even get me started on the debates about homework. Is it too much? Is it too little? Does it even make sense? Meanwhile, I'm just here trying to figure out how Pythagoras and his triangles are relevant to my life. So today, we're delving into the fascinating journey of homework, its origins, evolution, and the ongoing debates that surround it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more quick notes on intriguing subjects. So, who invented homework? So, when it comes to figuring out who came up with homework as we know it today, it's a bit like solving a mystery because historical records don't give us a clear answer. However, two important people, Roberto Nevelis from Venice and Horace Mann, are often connected to the early days of homework. They played key roles in shaping the idea of homework that we deal with nowadays. Roberto Nevelis of Venice, a mythical innovator? People often say that Roberto Nevelis, a teacher from Venice in the 16th century, is the one who first came up with homework. The tale goes like this. Nevelis gave his students extra tasks to do outside of normal class time to help them learn better. This idea is a lot like what we think of as homework today. However, there's not a lot of solid proof to say for sure that Nevelis is the real homework inventor, which makes some people question the story. Even though Nevelis's connection to homework might be a bit like a legend, it still shows that people back then saw the value in the concept for education. Horace Mann. Shaping the American educational landscape Horace Mann, often called the father of American education, made a big impact on American schools in the 1800s. Although he didn't exactly invent homework on his own, his changes to the education system in the United States played a major part in making homework a common thing. Mann believed in having a structured and disciplined approach to education. This included giving students tasks to do outside of class. While Mann didn't create homework as we know it today, his ideas shaped the American education system and made it more likely for homework to become a regular part of student life. Homework wasn't just created for no reason. It had specific goals in education. One aim was to help students remember what they learned in class and develop their skills. Homework also had another job, teaching students to be disciplined and responsible. It helped them build good study habits and learn how to manage their time effectively. Why was homework invented? Homework wasn't just something thrown into education randomly. It was a well-thought-out plan with some important goals. One of the main aims was to help students remember and use what they learned in class. When students step out of the classroom, the idea is that they should still be able to apply the knowledge they gained. Homework became a useful tool to make this happen. It gave students a structured way to go back over what they learned during the day, practice it, and make sure they really understood it. Homework assignments were often designed to match what students did in class. This way, students could keep learning even after school hours. By doing exercises and tasks related to what they were taught, students could strengthen their understanding and become more skilled in different subjects. Fostering self-discipline and responsibility. Creating homework had another important goal, to help students become more disciplined and responsible. Education is not just about learning facts, it's also about developing skills and habits that will be useful in facing future challenges. By giving students tasks to do independently at home, educators wanted to teach them good study habits and how to manage their time wisely. The idea was for students to take charge of their own learning, handle their time well, and meet deadlines. Skills that are important not only in school but also in life beyond the classroom. Homework was a way to encourage students to be active in their education. It showed them the importance of being responsible and the satisfaction of completing tasks on their own. These skills aren't just useful in school. They're valuable for whatever students decide to do in the future. 
both in their academic pursuits and in the broader aspects of their lives. So, when was homework invented? Homework has deep historical roots, reaching back to ancient civilizations and early educational methods. Even though it has changed a lot over the centuries, the idea of extending learning beyond the classroom has always been a crucial part of education. The very beginnings of homework can be traced to the earliest human civilizations. In ancient Egypt, students had tasks like practicing hieroglyphic writing. These exercises were like the ancestors of modern homework, helping students practice and reinforce their understanding of written language, an important skill for communication and record keeping back then. In ancient Greece, big thinkers like Plato and Aristotle supported the use of written exercises as a way to develop intellectual abilities. They saw the value of practicing to improve knowledge and skills, setting the stage for a more organized approach to homework. The ancient Romans were key players in shaping the early stages of homework. Young Roman students had to finish assignments at home, especially in subjects like mathematics and literature. These tasks were meant to reinforce what they learned in class, highlighting the idea that practice was crucial for mastering different subjects. Over time, the tradition of giving students work to do outside of normal school hours kept evolving. As societies progressed, the types of homework tasks became more complex and diverse, adapting to the changing needs and priorities of education. The influence of educational philosophers' homework has ancient roots but the thinking of well-known educational philosophers in later centuries also added to its growth. John Locke, a key figure in the Enlightenment era, had a belief in a step-by-step -step and cumulative method of learning. He thought it was important for students to go back to topics, repeat them, and practice, a concept that fits well with the principles of homework. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, another influential philosopher, highlighted the importance of self-directed learning. Rousseau's ideas encouraged the development of independent study habits and a personalized approach to education, a philosophy that aligns with modern concepts of homework. Homework in the American public school system. The American public school system has been a major player in making homework a common practice. To grasp the importance of homework in modern education, it's crucial to explore its history and development within the United States. In the late 19th century, homework in the United States took a significant turn. Influenced by educational changes and the growing need for standardized curricula, homework assignments started becoming more prominent in American schools. Educational reformers and policymakers saw the value of homework as a tool for reinforcing what students learned in class. They believed that giving students tasks to do outside regular school hours would help make sure they remembered what they were taught and sharpened their skills. This approach matched the broader trends in education at the time, aiming for a more organized and systematic way of learning. As the American public school system continued to develop, homework assignments became a regular part of classrooms all across the nation. The standardization of curricula and the formalization of education played a role in blending homework into the learning process. This represented a significant change from earlier educational methods signaling a move towards more organized and comprehensive learning experiences. Including homework in the American education system did more than just reinforce what was taught in class. It also helped students become more disciplined and responsible. It motivated them to take charge of their educational journey and develop important study habits and time management skills, a legacy that still influences modern teaching methods. Controversies around homework even though homework has been a part of education for a long time, it hasn't escaped controversy and debate. While some see it as a valuable tool for learning, others raise questions about its effectiveness and how it affects students' well-being. The homework debate. One major point of controversy centers around the volume of homework given to students. Critics argue that too much homework can lead to stress, sleep deprivation, and a lack of free time. The debate often focuses on finding the right balance between homework and other aspects of a student's life, like extracurricular activities, family time, and rest. The effectiveness of homework is another area of dispute. Some studies suggest that moderate amounts of homework can help reinforce classroom learning and improve academic performance. However, there are questions about whether all homework assignments contribute equally to learning or if some are more beneficial than others. The impact of homework can vary based on factors like the student's grade level, the subject matter, and the quality of the assignment. 
equity and accessibility. Homework can also bring up concerns related to fairness and accessibility. Students from less privileged backgrounds may have fewer resources and support at home, which can put them at a disadvantage when it comes to finishing homework assignments. This inequality has sparked conversations about whether homework contributes to educational disparities and how schools can work to address these differences. Alternative Approaches to Learning In response to the controversies surrounding homework, educators and researchers have explored alternative approaches to learning. These approaches aim to find a balance between reinforcing classroom learning and promoting overall student well-being. Some alternatives include Project-based learning Project-based learning emphasizes hands-on, collaborative projects that enable students to apply their knowledge to real-world problems. This approach shifts the focus from traditional homework assignments to engaging, practical learning experiences. Flipped classrooms. Flipped classrooms reverse the traditional teaching model. In this approach, students learn new material at home through video lectures or readings, and then they use class time for interactive discussions and activities. This method reduces the reliance on traditional homework while encouraging active learning during class sessions. Personalized learning. Personalized learning tailors instruction to the individual needs of students, enabling them to progress at their own pace. This approach minimizes the reliance on one-size-fits-all homework assignments and instead emphasizes targeted learning experiences designed to meet each student's specific needs. The ongoing conversation. The debates around homework emphasize the importance of an ongoing conversation about its role in education. Finding the right balance between reinforcing learning and considering students' well-being remains a complex challenge. As educators, parents, and researchers continue to explore innovative approaches to learning, the role of homework in the modern educational landscape continues to evolve. The ultimate aim is to offer students the most effective and equitable learning experiences possible. Homework, lacking a sole inventor, has evolved through the contributions of educators, philosophers, and students. It serves to reinforce learning, instill discipline, and prepare students. From ancient times to modern education, it upholds timeless values. Yet, controversies persist. Debates on balance, efficacy, equity, and accessibility arise. Innovative alternatives like project-based and personalized learning emerge. The role of homework evolves in tandem with education. And there you have it, a quick exploration into the world of homework. From its ancient roots to the innovative alternatives shaping modern education, it's been quite a journey. If you enjoyed this quick note, give us a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe for more brief insights on diverse topics. Thanks for joining us at A Quick Note.